Hey everyone. Sorry I haven't done a video in a while, but we have a new addition to our family. This is Dante, the French Bulldog. And he, yeah, say hi, has been taking up like all my time. So I haven't had a chance to do a ton of gardening, but what I have done is my teenager has done most of it for me. So I will show you what I have done in my garden and um, where I'm at and this crazy dog, maybe a little bit more of my crazy dog, Dante. So this year we were supposed to be building a house, um, but due to COVID and the ridiculous price of lumber, we are not building a house. So my garden plans were to keep a very small garden uh, for this summer because we were supposed to be building a house and a lot of my time and energy was going to be doing that. However, since that isn't happening, I have a Bit of an expanded guard more than I was going to do but I'll show you what I've got so far. First I have my perennial area so over here um, I planted we planted a lot of bulbs last fall so I've got some tulips and the daffodils have already gone by but the tulips are still looking pretty good so they're looking nice. I have an elderberry bush here which is doing fantastic. It did really well last year too. I have some blueberry bushes and two apple trees. I'm not certain what else we're going to put here. I'm thinking more of an herb. So if you have an idea of something that I could put, let me step back so you can see in this section over here. I'd love to hear it. Things that maybe um, you think grow well in the Northeast. All right. So then we move on to my regular garden. Oh, there's Dante. There he is. My pal here. So right now I have a strawberry patch over here. Same as last year. And we decided to put, put potatoes. What are you doing, buddy? Nope, nope, nope. He's not supposed to be over there because we just planted some grass seed. Ah, uh, potatoes. So I have three rows of potatoes here. And right now you're probably saying I don't see any hilling or mounding or anything. And that's because we decided to use a trench method. So I just we just trenched down. We rototilled the whole area. And then we dug down about six inches, put in the potatoes. So I have three rows of potatoes here. Up over um, underneath the poles and the line there are some snap peas. I have to go find my dog. Hold on. Next up on this half of the garden here, I have my lavender plant. Then I have three rows of onions and carrots. Last year I had those over here. This year we had them going horizontally. This year on this plot. Now I have to get my dog again. You guys, my dog interrupts me all the time. I can barely get a sentence in. What are you doing? Ah, this is why I don't get much done. Okay, so now I've got him. He's tired. I'm going to try to... Yeah, say hi. I'll try to finish my garden tour. Anyway, like I was saying, since we're not building our house like we wanted to, I decided to use this part of my garden, which is usually for tomatoes and lettuce and spinach and all that stuff, to use as a nursery for some new trees. So what we have in the back there are two cherry trees. I forget the type. Evans? I think Evans cherry. And then we have an apple tree and two elderberries. So this year, the way my garden's gonna go, it's just gonna be basically root vegetables. Like I said, I've got carrots, potatoes, here's my pal, carrots, potatoes, onions, uh, snap peas. And we have that nursery section for um, those trees. Eventually those trees will go elsewhere on our property. It's just that for this year, I figured we could just keep them there, nurse them, watch them, make sure the deer don't get at them, and all that good stuff. My pal here. Um, this is why I don't get anything done. Anyway, um, hey, 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 hey. Someone's tired. He's definitely past his nap. He's almost, he's almost four months old. Um, yeah, he's just crazy. Anyway, so, uh, so that is my basic, what I've got going on in my garden right now. Let me put him down. There you go. That's what I got going on in my garden right now. And I will be, I can add a video that shows my soca hose system, how I'm gonna set that up this year. Cause it's gonna be a little bit different because the garden is situated differently. And I'm probably going to, so I have to follow my dog around. Um, <laughs> I'm probably going to um, put the soca hose around some more of my trees and bushes and shrubs this year, since I'll have the extra, since I have them in my garden and I'll have the extra hose because I have a whole portion of my garden that I'm not doing anything with. Actually, I didn't show you that. I'll show you that now. Okay, so this is a part of my garden from like here all the way over past that mound there. That I, would you stop eating my lemon balm? Look at this. 
Dante. This is Dante. Come on, come on. I have to put him down for a nap. Anyway, so this part of my garden isn't being used, so I'm not gonna have any soca hose there. So what I'll do is I'll wind it extra probably around the trees, and that should help. He's so crazy. And that should um, help get these trees watered and nursed better. So that's that. All right, so thanks for watching. I know this update was probably a little jostled and a little lot normal. Usually I try to use a tripod for my uh, shots, but with my little puppy here, it's just difficult to do that. But anyway, so that's what my I have going on my garden. It is definitely warmer than normal up here in the Northeast. I've noticed it like the tulips bloomed like two weeks earlier than normal. So that's why I put everything in now. Usually I wait and I don't put everything in the garden until about um, almost Memorial Day. But I got everything in early May, the first week of May. That's where we are now. What is today's date? I don't even know what today's date is. I had stuff in. So see, so the only thing I didn't plant yet, and I forgot to tell you, I'm going to have acorn squash and also uh, a watermelon because my youngest son wants to grow watermelon plant. Anyway, but thanks for watching. Um, please remember, like, share, subscribe. And if you have any thoughts on what would work well in a, like what looks good in a perennial area over there, I'm thinking herbs. I'm thinking I should put my lemon balm over there and maybe do a little bit of an herb garden over there by those two apple trees. But if you have anything that you love growing or you think grows really well in the Northeast, it's pretty bright sun over there, pretty full sun over there. Uh, let me know something that's low because I don't want it to block um, the sun from my apple trees. All right, so I'll try to get my best to get some other videos coming up here soon. But um, thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys.